So what does it mean to be a servant? Stay tuned. Welcome to Animated Christians. My name is Zeke Matthew, and on this channel, we do original content. So when you think of a servant, what comes to mind? For me, I always picture missionaries in a foreign country helping out. But is that truly a servant? Or is there more to being a servant? Well, a definition of a servant is a person in the service of another. You see, in the church, we're supposed to be servants of one another. But oftentimes, we are not servants. And why is this? It's because most of us don't feel like we're up to the task to be a servant of Christ and think someone else better is going to come along and complete that task. Think of it this way. We do not think of ourselves as worthy of being that person. What if I told you you were wrong and you can make a difference? You and you and you in the way back everyone can make a difference but how is this possible you see you have a natural gift that no one can copy but what is a natural gift well a definition of a gift is a special ability or capacity natural endowment talent in other words you have a special ability that no one else has. But what is this special ability, you may ask? This special ability is a talent that everyone around you says you have, but you don't think so yourself, or you have been complimented on this special ability by a lot of people. Special ability could be like talking to people, like you have an aroma where you can just instantly talk to people. Another could be writing, where you could write and get satisfaction out of it. Another could be dance or movie making, etc. Anything that gives you a passion. These are what you call special ability. Now your special ability, which is called a natural gift, is also connected to your spiritual gift. And you can find more about the spiritual gift in the video card above. Now, let's look at some scriptures. In Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 through 39, says, Love the Eternal One, your God, with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is nearly as important. Love your neighbor as yourself. Mark chapter 16 verses 15 through 18 says go out into the world and share the good news with all of creation anyone who believes this good news and is ceremonially washed will be rescued but anyone who does not believe it will be condemned and these signs will follow those who believe they will be able to cast out demons in my name speak with new tongues take up serpents drink poison without being harmed and lay their hands on the sick to heal them you see looking at this scripture was all meant to tell god's story through our natural gift and to give a dying world hope again you may even save somebody by what you do or give them hope by what you do remember your natural gift is special to you and you alone which you can help spread the gospel by your gift or sharing this video. This is what it means to be a servant because we are in service of one another within the church by our spiritual and natural gift. And if you have any common questions in the church, put them in the comments below and I might use your question in the next video. And never forget, Animated Christian is just for you.